Hello, you're watching Hard Video All This Stuff and welcome back, my friends. Have you ever needed to film a sunset, but you've run into trouble due to the huge degree of contrast? Here are my tips for improving your sunset video and I'll show you how I went from this to this. Be sure to check the links below, that's the best way to support the channel. Now, let's do it. So let's take a look at the first shot, which was shot in a standard shooting mode. And of course I've exposed to prioritize the detail in the sky, which leaves the lower half of the frame looking quite dark, like a chump. The biggest challenge when shooting a sunset is the huge variation in contrast from the top and bottom of your frame. This is something that's relatively easy to fix when it comes to photography. We can just bring the photo into Lightroom and increase the shadows, but when we're dealing with video, it's not that easy as for most of us mortals who are filming on non-high bitrate normal cameras, we just don't have the same latitude when it comes to raising the shadows by a few stops. As you can see from this clip, it doesn't look great when I tried to do this by masking the shadow areas and raising them. Something else to think about is the time you choose to get your shot during the sunset, as this will vastly change the look you get. This shot was taken before the sun went down, and as you can see, we're getting lots of contrast and some flaring from the sun, like a chump. But if we wait until the sun drops below the horizon, we can get a much more balanced look, not to mention a way more pleasing, colorful looking sky. Now that we've got a better looking sky to film, the next step I'm gonna take is to pop a graduated filter in front of my lens. I'm using the Tiffin 4x4 square filter starter kit, which they're lovely bits of kit. Um, and they're linked below if you want to know which ones they are. But using the Grad ND that comes in the kit, we can significantly lower the exposure of the sky uh, and retain more detail and get more balanced exposure. It's such a cool bit of kit that photographers make really good use of when they shoot long exposure shots or landscapes. But I feel like us videographers should be making more use of them because the results you can get are pretty stunning. Next, I'm gonna change my video mode to log which should give me more dynamic range to play with. In theory, using log should control those really bright areas and retain more detail in the shadows. As you can see, it definitely helps with a shot like this and should further assist us when it comes to a little editing. The next thing I wanna do is to bring the shot into our editing software and see if we can improve things even more. Let's start by adding just a bit of a color grade just so we can see what we're working with. But now for a little bit of unconventional editing. We're gonna add a graduated mask onto our clip and I'm going to set it horizontally so that just the sky is masked. And then I'm going to duplicate the shot, place it on top of the original one and invert the mask so that on our second shot, the lower half is masked. And the idea here is to edit the top and bottom half of the image separately so that we can add color and detail to the sky and then edit the shadow areas in the lower half with its own grade. We could even use two different lookup tables if we wanted to. The possibilities are endless and can lead to some really interesting looking shots. So there we go, we went from this contrasty looking shot to one which is way more balanced. And ironically, the very next day after filming this, I had the most amazing looking sunset just down the road from my house and I wasn't able to go and shoot it. Such is life. I hope you found this inspiring all the same. And that's it for now. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. I've got a large back catalog of videos about video on this channel, of which YouTube recommends this one for you and my latest upload will be just underneath. If you're not subscribed, then definitely hit the blob on this side. And until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.